Fishing was a major industry in western Washington, and early in the last century, the resource seemed inexhaustible. Salmon was king of the industry, but other fish were caught and processed too. As one of the activities that defined a national vision of the Northwest, Will Hudson was eager to film fishing whenever possible, and to keep the scenes as a part of his stock footage. The smelt or oolican fishery was substantial in the 1920s and 30s. Large numbers of the small fish were caught in dip nets as they entered the Columbia River and Puget Sound waters. Besides commercial fishing, oolican provided a personal use fishery. Regulated by a per person per pound limit, the fish were dipped from Whatcom County waters as a family activity as late as the 1950s and 1960s. Hudson also filmed horse-hauled beach seining, a technique used on the Columbia River, a salmon fishing method banned in the 1930s.
Hudson filmed salmon trap fishing, a method in use prior to 1934. The wooden pile wire and net traps, usually owned and operated by the larger canneries, were placed at locations where salmon passed in great numbers. There were numerous traps near Lummy Island and Point Roberts. Turned into the traps by extended jiggers or fences across their paths, the salmon were routed into the hearts, then central pot and spiller of the trap, where they were brailed out into barges and taken off to canneries, including a number of major canneries in Bellingham. ¶¶